Hello, sim racing enthusiasts. I'm Bella, your new host for the weekly Sim Racing Den news update. You might be wondering where Mike, your usual host, is. Well, he's currently occupied with creating incredible sim racing content and reviews for all of you. Therefore, he has entrusted me to keep you informed and entertained. Before we dive into the exciting news, I want to mention that I am a realistic AI-generated speech synthesis by Eleven Labs. If you're curious to learn more about them, you can find a link to their website in the description below. But let's not waste any more time talking about me, as there are plenty of thrilling developments to discuss in the realm of sim racing. From the latest hardware, game releases, content, and updates to the most significant events and competitions, I'll make sure you're up to speed with everything happening in this fast-paced world. So buckle up, put on your virtual racing helmets, and join me as we explore the exhilarating world of sim racing together. The world of high-performance sports cars is certainly an elusive one, especially when we talk about vehicles manufactured in extremely limited numbers. Case in point, the incredible TechArt GT Street R, a beauty that's derived from the Porsche 911 Turbo and Turbo S. But wait, we've got some good news for you. This supercar may be an exclusive commodity in the real world, but in the virtual universe of Assetto Corsa, every speed enthusiast can experience the thrill. TechArt has unveiled an official mod of this mean machine for you to experience from the comfort of your sim rig. With the GT Street R being a street legal vehicle, its specifications mirror those more of a racetrack beast. Packed with nearly 800 brake horsepower, it can hit blistering top speeds of around 217 miles per hour. Its lightweight body, interior, and wheels are a testament to its serious intent. Being limited to a scarce 87 pieces, having the real-life pleasure of driving or owning this marvel is merely a dream for most. In the fascinating domain of sim racing, auto enthusiasts and motorsport aficionados can virtually pilot any vehicle, anywhere. The official GT Street R mod brings the aerodynamic beast, formerly known as a Porsche, into your gaming rig. Now, you can take it for a thrilling spin around the iconic Nürburgring without fretting over prohibitive costs and repair bills. The Assetto Corsa mod, unlike its real-world counterpart, doesn't cost a penny. The free mod features a range of body colors and configurations and mimics the original vehicle's characteristics with astounding precision. Head over to the TechArt website using the link below in the description, scroll near the end, and you can grab the official mod. Are you excited about the more intense version of the 911 Turbo? Would you appreciate more car manufacturers stepping into the virtual realm with official versions of their exotic rides? I'm curious to know your thoughts, so drop a comment below. SimLab's latest innovation, the XP 1200 kg load cell pedal set, is now available for pre-order. The XP 1 pedal set comes in different configurations to suit your preferences. You can choose the two-pedal throttle plus brake set, priced at 499 euros. If you prefer to add a clutch pedal, an optional one is available for 199 euros. And for the ultimate racing setup, the three-pedal throttle plus brake and clutch can be yours for 649 euros. The pre-order process is now open, allowing you to secure your own set of these pedals. If your current pedals aren't cutting it anymore, this might be an opportunity to upgrade your sim racing setup and take your performance to new heights. However, the XP1 pedals from SimLab are just one of many options in a growing market, so we can't give our recommendations just yet until Mike has an opportunity to test them. Now, let's talk about the shipping timeline. If all goes as planned, the pre-orders are expected to start shipping in the fourth week of July. So, you won't have to wait too long to get your hands on these pedals. The SimLab XP1 offers a range of universal features that suit various setups. They can be mounted on virtually any pedal deck, and the inclination of the pedals is easily adjustable. The blue accents highlight the adjustability, making it convenient for you to customize them to your liking. The pedal faces can also be adjusted in height and angle, 
ensuring optimal comfort and ergonomics. The pedal plates are also swappable, allowing you to personalize your experience further. With real ball bearings in the pedal arm and complete solid metal construction, these pedals should be built to withstand the rigors of intense racing sessions. Let's take a closer look at the specific features of each pedal. The brake pedal incorporates a 200 kilograms load cell, translating into 100 kilograms of pedal pressure. It also offers easy to swap elastomers and springs, allowing you to adjust the stiffness and the initial first stage compression according to your preference. The throttle pedal features hall sensor technology, ensuring precise input without wear and tear. You can also swap the springs to achieve different throttle stiffness and adjust the spring tension to your liking. If you opt for the clutch pedal, you'll benefit from adjustable bite point functionality and hall sensor technology, just like the throttle pedal. The spring tension can also be customized, providing a personalized clutch feel. If the SimLab XP1 load cell pedal set sounds like something you're interested in, don't miss this opportunity to pre-order your set today. If you decide to purchase these or any other SimLab products, why not use our affiliate link below and help support the sim racing den simultaneously? It doesn't cost you anything extra, and we receive a small commission in return. You can find the link and other affiliate links below in the description. Now let's switch gears to Gran Turismo, as we eagerly await the in-person LAN event in August. The lineup for the Nations Cup teams in the Gran Turismo World Series Showdown 2023 has been officially determined. The Showdown Esports event is set to unfold in Amsterdam, and it should be a momentous occasion. For the very first time in a World Series competition, Fanatec Sim Racing Equipment will make its debut, promising an enhanced racing experience. Following a series of intense qualifying rounds within Gran Turismo 7, we can now reveal the roster for one of the exciting competitions scheduled for next month, the Nations Cup. The Nations Cup brings together three skilled drivers who will join forces to represent their respective nations across 12 representative states. This year's showdown event introduces a fresh format, departing from the traditional solo drivers competition that has been in place since 2018. Let's take a closer look at the lineup for the Nations Cup in the Gran Turismo World Series Showdown 2023. Reigning champion Coque Lopez, who claimed the title in a gripping fashion in Monaco last year, returns to defend his crown. He will be joined by Jose Serrano and Paul Ura, forming a formidable team for Spain. Kylian Drumont, fresh off his impressive victory in the Olympic Esports Series, will once again represent France. Following his stunning debut victory at the 2022 Showdown event in Salzburg, Drumont will be joined by Baptiste Beauvoir and Thomas Laboutelet. Italy will see the presence of 2021 champion Valerio Gallo, who will be accompanied by Giorgio Mangano and Marco Busnelli. Their collective experience and skill will undoubtedly make Italy a strong contender. Notably, Malaysia will make its first ever appearance in the showdown, showcasing their talent on the grand stage. However, this time around, countries such as the United Kingdom, Hungary, and Argentina will not be represented. While the lineup for the Manufacturers' Cup is yet to be announced, mark your calendars for the thrilling competitions. The Manufacturers' Cup will take place on August 11th, followed by the Nations' Cup on August 12th. If you're eager to witness the electrifying atmosphere firsthand, tickets are available for purchase. Starting from just 15 euros, you can secure your spot and be a part of the Gran Turismo World Series Showdown experience. Please stay tuned for more updates as we approach the event, and we will be ready to witness the best of sim racing talent competing on the world stage at the Gran Turismo World Series Showdown. Soelpec, a relatively new name in the industry, has been passionately dedicated to developing high-performance sim racing equipment for over two years. Their unwavering goal has always been to provide sim racing enthusiasts with the most immersive and authentic experience possible. The Spectra XR steering wheel represents the culmination of Soelpec's efforts, showcasing their commitment to delivering top-notch products to the sim racing community. With a strong emphasis on outstanding build quality, innovative features, and customizable options, 
Soelpec aims to elevate the sim racing experience for enthusiasts worldwide. The Spectra XR boasts impressive specifications, including a 302 mm wheel diameter, a 5-inch touchscreen display, 17 push buttons, two seven-way switches, three center ELMA encoders with push buttons, and two dual-action ELMA thumb encoders with eight inputs. The RGB illumination is fully customizable, complemented by 23 additional configurable LEDs around the display. Constructed with a fully anodized 6061 aluminum structure, the Spectra XR features a carbon fiber center plate, PMMA button caps, and LED diffusers. Additional details such as textured PVC film stickers, ball bearing magnetic shifters with black N52 magnets, and ball bearing dual clutches with hall sensors and a bite point button further enhance its quality and performance. Additionally, the Spectra XR is available in a range of color schemes, allowing users to personalize their sim racing setup. For a limited time and quantity, Solpec is offering a special pre-order price of 1,399 euros, providing enthusiasts with an enticing opportunity to acquire what looks like an exceptional steering wheel at a discounted rate. As the pre-order phase begins, the reception and impact of the Spectra XR steering wheel within the sim racing community will undoubtedly be fascinating to observe, contributing to the continuous evolution of the virtual racing world. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Sim Racing Den News. If you enjoy these updates, please do us a favor and hit the like button as it helps recommend our content to other sim racing enthusiasts. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing now and hit the bell to be notified when we release a new video or update. Until the next one, stay safe and enjoy your racing.